I'm Matt uh, McGrath, and I am uh, playing Sam in LCT3's production of Ellen Ferry's Graceland. Yeah. Graceland is a, uh, it's a cemetery in Chicago, um, and in Ellen Ferry's play, um, the characters Sarah and Sam have lost their father. And uh, we find out that uh, he's actually committed suicide. Um, but we find our characters uh, at the uh, at the service of the of the uh, of their father, and uh, we learn a lot about uh, their their relationship and their place in the world in their forties, you know, early forties. Artists like Alan Ferry kind of reflect generations, you know, hold a mirror up to to this 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 group of people that are now approaching their 40s and uh, the baggage that they kind of take with them or or you know are evolved enough to to shake and uh, I think these people kind of learn a lot in this uh, in this course of three days that this play takes place some people might say oh well that sounds depressing I don't want to go to see that but there's a lot of humor in it and there's a lot to be gleaned from from watching these people struggle um, with a, a dark subject, but um, it has a lot of a lot of hope and a lot of healing. It seems. I like all kinds of theater. I mean, you know, there's there's so many. You know, if you get kind of stuck in one kind of style, I think that it kind of limits you. You know, I, I like to challenge myself and and go to different types of avant-garde things and you know um, and different types of musicals and stuff and and, um, and I, I love performing in different styles as well you know I've gone from like you know A.R. Gurney to you know Robert Wilson you know I've, I've done a, a lot of different different styles I think that I've had comparable jobs to working at Edible Arrangements, and I don't think, you know, there's nothing wrong with working at uh, Edible Arrangements. It's a, it's a pretty good business plan, if you ask me. But, uh, you know, I, I guess the most, uh, the closest that I've had is I, I worked at haagen for a little while, and, and uh, you know, being up there on 75th, I think it was. I don't even know if that store is there anymore, but... It was right out of high school. It was kind of my first year of college, I think, and I didn't do too well. Basically, I was asked to uh, to move on, as they say. <laughs> I couldn't handle it.